Hey guys, it's Liz. I want to do a follow-up video for you. Um, some of you have been asking how has All About Spelling been going and what do we do in a lesson and how to break it down into um, just like how to use this program. And so now that we've finished with my third grader level one, um, he's nine, I will just walk you through like how we used it. We'll do a lesson together um, so that you can kind of see the way that All About Spelling works. It's actually divided, book one is divided into 24 lessons, which they call steps. And then it's up to you as a mastery based program to just go the pace of your child. And so um, I'll just kind of show you when we stopped and started each day and how I decided how much to do and then what we did with the tiles um, that were in the lesson and then also what we did with the cards that were in the lesson. Um, first thing I would say, I'm really glad we went back to level one. A lot of people said, um, including the company, no matter what grade or age your child is, to go back to level one. And I can see now that we finished why that is. And for me as a teacher, I was able to just learn the way that All About Spelling works. So every lesson has a really similar rhythm to it and um, there's no spelling tests and there's no worksheets. That's what makes this really different, I think, than a lot of other spelling programs. Um, this one, kids are really learning to break a word apart into the sounds. We have these spelling rules that we're learning and we have sounds that we're learning. Um, each letter makes several sounds and so the kids memorize each letter and it just goes back to the basics. Things like, I forget learning, but must have learned at some point. Um, then the green ones are going to be all of the word cards. Every spelling lesson, they get 10 word cards and you just uh, work through them and the kids have to learn how to segment them and spell them on paper as well. And then we have sound cards in the back. And so um, this is them being able to hear you say the sound and then write the sound down. And so you're covering a lot of basics in level one. Level two, I'm excited to see how it builds on. I thought maybe we would do lessons once or twice a week when I got this and I was really confused how often do other people do spelling and how often does it tell you to do spelling. What I found was that it was just really good to do spelling every day that we did school and to do it in short amounts. And so we would try to do about five to ten minutes about four days a week I'd say. Just as an example they call lessons steps and book one has 24 steps or lessons. Um, we would start here and I would kind of just go through whatever we could get through in a, about 10 minutes or less. And so um, some days, especially on the early lessons, um, like the first half of the book, since he's an older child, we made it through the whole lesson, like the whole step in one day sitting. Um, I think as the lessons get harder, especially as he gets more to grade level, that's gonna really, really slow down because usually one book is um, enough to take you through the school year. So this would be like first grade level stuff, level two would be more second grade level stuff. So we could technically really get up to level three with him and that would go slower, I'm assuming. I think that if I was to use this in a, you know, with a first grader, then we would go really slowly because these words would be harder and they'd have to think about the rules more. It'd be less familiar with how a word is supposed to look. Like in my last video, I had mentioned doing this with my second and third grader, both level one. And um, what I found, I, I made the decision like after the first lesson um, that two things, one, they needed to be done separately. I thought we could do them together. That was not gonna work. And um, that makes sense because you have this is a program where you have to do each child individually and their cards have to be sorted individually just based on what they know and what they need review and so uh, it just wasn't going to work like I said um, you know how do you spell this and one one kid said it first and so I didn't know if the other kid knew it and so um, I just realized after lesson one okay these these have to be done separately and then um, the second thing that I decided was that I was just going to hold off doing spelling with my second grader until um, either she wants to or until third grade. I'd love to see her just reading more. I think that will make the beginning spelling rules a lot easier and make more sense to her. She's reading, but I'd like to, you know, just give her a chance to focus on reading more, reading for enjoyment, and spelling can follow. And then I also see I could work on this with a younger child a lot slower 
or I could wait till they're older and then they can go through it a lot faster, which is honestly less work for me. Let's go ahead and take a look inside of a lesson and we'll do a lesson together or two. If you enjoy this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe for new homeschool videos and reviews. What you see here um, is what I pull out every time we do spelling. And so, like I said, I tried to do five to 10 minutes a day whenever we would do um, schoolwork. So about four days a week, sometimes five days a week. And um, I just found that this was a manageable amount of time to do it and not overwhelming. Every lesson we'd use the tiles, we would use um, the box of cards and this teacher's guide. There is no student guide because the student manual is actually cut up into all these cards. So the very first thing that we did in step one, or um, you could call it lesson one, is we reviewed all of the phonograms. So we went through, it says here, take out phonogram cards one through 26. I show this to my son and he's looking at the sound and I'm looking at this side. So he tells me the sound it makes. So he would say B, and then I would put this in the mastered pile if he already knew what that sound was. Now this one, if he looked at it and said D, I'd say, awesome, you already know how to do that. I'm gonna put that in the mastered pile. It would go right behind this one that says phonograms mastered. Um, same with here. And I will say with a third grader who's a strong reader, he pretty much just knew all of these sounds. So this one is uh, he said, but when we get to some of the sounds, what he learned and I learned with him is that there's actually several sounds that this letter can make. So it can say uh, you, or uh. And so what we had to do, he didn't know that, we put that in the phonograms review tab right there. And so we would pull this out the next day and we'd work on this one he had to actually repeat all three sounds when I pull this card out for it to um, go into the mastered pile. And so he's memorizing the three sounds that this makes, uh, you, and uh. Now this one, he would have probably told me ah. Uh. I would have told him that this makes four sounds actually, ah, uh, o, oh, ooh, and uh. And so as he started to realize, okay, when I hold out this card, I have to say ah, uh, oh, ooh, ah. Uh. Then I would put this in the mastered, um, in the mastered tab there. So we just went through these, and I would say he knew all of them except for mostly the vowels that have several sounds that it makes. Okay, so for day two, this is an introduction into segmenting words. So we actually don't use our tiles yet. We are just going to learn with um, these little pieces that it comes with they would learn how to break a word apart into the sounds. They give you this list and you're going to ask your kid to um, tell you the first sound in a word that they hear. So fan, they would tell you f, rug, they would tell you r. You're going to kind of repeat that until you see that they get it. And one of the things that I learned is like, if you see they're getting 100% and they get the concept, you can just skip you do not have to do all the words if they get it. Um, that helped us to just go faster. We're going to segment words with two sounds. And so they're going to eventually segment every single lesson that you do. And so um, this second day's teaching or second step two teaching on how to segment words is actually really important as a teacher to learn how to do. And so here they're going to take these words and they're going to separate the sounds so you say the word C to them, and they're going to say S, E. You say the word zoo to them, and they say Z, U. And so they're learning how to segment these easy words. And eventually these tokens go away, and they are going to use letter tiles. Step three, which is lesson three, they're going to teach you how to use the letter tiles. I have kind of a love-hate relationship with them because They've been handy. I also find them to be really frustrating because it slows us down so much to have to grab letter tiles to spell them. We kept these on our fridge, by the way. I'm just putting them on this like old cookie sheet to give you an idea of 
how you could do this. Um, we have a little toddler, so I put them way up high on our fridge. But um, if you don't want to have the um, if you don't want to have the tiles, there is a twenty dollar app you can buy, which I think I'm going to do for level two, and um, I will let you know how that goes. But I just think that this takes a lot of time, and so if he knew a concept and um, could do it faster than using the tiles, sometimes I would just let him spell them to me. The format of every single lesson is going to be the same. It's really nice. Basically, after you get through the first three steps, which teach you the sounds, they teach you how to segment a word into the sounds, and then they teach you how to use the letter tiles. After that, you're going to have the same kind of format. And so what that looks like is a little bit of review. So you review any of the cards, so phonogram cards, sound cards, and key cards. So we would come over here and look for any of the um, key cards, phonogram cards, and um, sound cards that were in the review pile. Then we would have review of segmenting these words. So I would set out some tokens and I'd say, can you segment the word mud? He would go mm, uh, d. And then I would do that with all of these words and we would move on. The next section is new teaching. For every lesson, there was basically 10 new words that he would have to learn. Then he would spell them on paper. So I would say what the word was that he had just done with the letter tiles. And then he would do them on paper. And then this section here is called reinforcement. And we oftentimes skipped this. Like I could tell this was easy for him. I could tell that he got how to spell it on paper. We would just skip the reinforcement extra words. You don't have to do these. But if you find that they're getting some of the words wrong or not picking it up, then you would take the next day, instead of moving on, you would just do some more of the same thing, basically. Let's go ahead and do this lesson real quick so that you can get an idea of how, how this works. Starting out, we would review the phonogram cards, sound cards, key cards, and word cards in our bin here that are under the review tab. We would move on to new teaching. And so, I will dictate a word and you'll spell it using the letter tiles. So every lesson after the first few intro lessons, you're going to come to the word, the letter tiles here. I pulled out the word cards from step seven, 11 through 20. And um, you can see these are all step seven and these are all cards. Um, they're not in order right now, but 11 through 20. I would say, can you spell in? He would go I, n, in and put the letters back. Then I'd say, okay, can you spell hit? He'd say, h, i, t, hit. And then he'd put the letters back. And we'd go through all 10 words and these were pretty easy for him. So these went straight into the mastered words card. And then what we would do is we would spell them on paper. And if our time was up for the day, say, these, say this was taking us a longer time than I thought and we'd kind of reached close to 10 minutes, I would pause here and then we would start right here tomorrow. So the next day or the next lesson, you would do the exact same thing. Review, you would grab out whatever cards it tells you if there's new teaching. So here we have key card um, five. So we'd come over here and we'd try to find um, step eight, key card five, just like down here. And I would say names start with A and he would learn it's capital letter. Once I could hold this up and he could say the answer, then it would go to the mastered. I'll just kind of give you an idea of what some of them are. Count the syllables you cover. This is a fun one. You do clapping to count the syllables. A consonant is any letter that isn't a vowel. C says S before what three letters? E, I, or Y. 
each one of these key cards would be like an entire lesson. What we ended up doing just to save time because these words were um, not really that challenging for him is I started just asking him, hey, can you spell not? And if he just whipped out N-O-T, no problem, I didn't have him do the spelling tiles. Um, once things got a little bit trickier for him, a little bit towards the end, then we went back to the spelling tiles. But for these same types of words that he could just visualize and, you know, roll out without thinking, I did not make him do all of the letter tiles. Like we just skipped that for a lot of days, which I know you're not supposed to do, but this was just easier to skip. So you're going to review old cards, then you have um, new teaching that usually involves a few new cards. You have a list of 10 words that they're going to break apart by their sounds or seg that they'll segment the sounds for. So p, i, g, pig. They'll do that for 10 words. Then they'll write them on paper. So you'll say, can you write pig? And they'll write it on the paper. Eventually, towards the end of the book, it got a little bit harder. They would spell the words from the word card list, but then they would also start to do phrases. This is um, a binder that we use. It's our homeschool binder. And I have a big stack of just wide ruled paper in the front. This would have been an example of some words that we did and then some of the phrases. This would have been some more. This would have been a day where we just practiced some more of the phrases. I really, really, really like this program. Once you get the hang of like segmenting words, um, how to use the tiles like I showed you, and then you just follow the teacher's manual, it tells you exactly what to do. Um, then you'll figure out exactly which cards to grab out. Um, if they know it and they get it right first try, then you can stick it into the mastered. If they don't and they need more practice, then we put it into the review. Each color has a review side and it tells you which cards to grab. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up.